welcome back to the January house. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. In today's video, I'll be going over the process of how to clean your 72 pin connector on your original Nintendo Entertainment System by boiling it. Yes, boiling it. So you might have heard about this method in the past or you might have seen some videos uh, on YouTube already about it. But I have this Nintendo and it just won't work for me. And I've tried every other method that I know of. So my last resort, and it's always my last resort, is to boil the 72 pin connector to see if that will bring this Nintendo back to life. Before we get started, just a disclaimer, uh, do this at your own risk. Don't send me any hate messages if you mess it up somehow. Uh, but that being said, it's not hard to do. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time, patience. Uh, make sure you keep all the screws organized when you take them out. Uh, obviously don't burn yourself when you're boiling the water or working around the boiling water and then probably the number one thing is to just make sure that the 72 pin connector is completely dry before you put it back into the system and screw everything back together and that's it just take some time and patience uh, but it's pretty easy you'll see in this video so check out the process and then i'll be back in a bit all right guys so i had this nintendo and it doesn't seem to work i've tried to clean the games i have three games here Tecmo Baseball, Little League Baseball, and Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. And you see when I put the game in, it comes up like a blank screen. See? Nothing. I don't know. I've tried to clean the games. I've changed out the AV cords. Uh, I've changed the power cord. The games came from two different uh, individuals uh Tecmo Baseball and Super Mario Brothers came from a yard sale and then uh, Little League Baseball came from the flea market. So the odds of all three of these games not working after I clean them all especially and you know I sell video games and I've sold Nintendos before so I feel like I know what I'm doing as far as cleaning the games out uh, with isopropyl alcohol and I use some of this canned air to blow out inside the Nintendo and it's just not working. It's blank screen and there's nothing else left for me to do but to try to uh, see if it's the 72 pin connector that's the problem. So that's what we're gonna do, boil the 72 pin connector. All right guys, so there's four screws on the corners that you need to remove. All right, so you got the four corner screws out, then there's two in the middle here. All right, then once you get the two bottom screws out, should be able to just pop off the top here, okay? And then you're gonna wanna take this uh, shielding off. Okay, now you got the shielding off. Then you need to take the game tray out.
then there's two little screws in the bottom here that you need to take out as well. All right, now you have the whole motherboard unit out. Slide the game tray out of the way. And then this is the 72 pin connector. Now, this is where your game goes. So this part is where the game slot slides into. But there's also a similar version of that holding the pin connector to the motherboard that you need to pull off and it's just it's on there tight and you just have to pull it off Oops. that's just the tray at the bottom but you need to work that off sometimes it comes sometimes it takes a little bit more force than that uh, but this is the 72 pin connector and you can see sometimes the pins get bent a little bit or they get dirty uh, the metal that the pins are made out of uh, won't rust so that's why you can boil it and uh, you'll be okay, but that's what the 72 pin connector looks like. Uh, you'll see it goes in the short side is into the motherboard. And then the part that sticks out a little further is the part that goes to your game. So this is the part we really want to clean out by boiling it. And uh, we'll go over to the stove and we'll see how it's done. All right, guys, here we are at the stove. You can see the water is boiling. I've got my 72 pin connector here. And all we're gonna do is literally just drop it in there and let it sit for about five minutes. Uh, make sure you stir it. Actually, you don't have to stir it. I'm just messing with you. It's not like you're making mac and cheese, but it's hard to boil something like this without stirring it every once in a while. So five minutes and then we'll come back. All right, five minutes is up. And while you don't need to stir it, you will need a spoon to take it out of there because obviously it's super hot. So we will fish this out. You can see there it is there. Now keep the water boiling because you're gonna put it back in for another five minutes, but you need to let this 72 pin connector cool so you can touch it and I'll show you why in one minute. All right guys, we let it cool a couple minutes. It doesn't take that long. You can see I can hold it in my hand, it's fine. Everything looks good. What you wanna do is get your game that uh, you don't mind getting messed up. It shouldn't mess up the game at all, uh, but just to be safe, get a game that uh, you're not really that concerned about. And what you wanna do is uh, repeatedly put the game cartridge into where the 72 uh, pin connector meets the game. About 10 or 15 times like this, in and out. It's helping to form the pins uh, back to where they go so that the game can read it. So that it can read the game when you put it back in the system properly. Just back and forth about 10 or 15 times. I already did it about 10 times before I turned the camera back on. Okay, like that. You can see everything's still good. The plastic's still good. Everything looks okay. But we are gonna put it back into the water for another five minutes. Back in there. And I'll be back in a minute. All right, another five minutes is up. So we're gonna take out our 72 pin connector here. Ta -da. And you wanna let it sit this time for about an hour. You don't want any uh, water in there. You don't want it to be put away wet in any way. So let it sit like for an hour, completely dry. And uh, then I'll show you how to put it back. All right, we're back and it's clean dry ready to go so short side back into the board you got to finagle it a little bit 
There we go. All right, let's see the whole thing back down in there. All right. All right, then slide the cartridge back on. Finagle that under there. All right, now you remembered where your screws go, right? So just start reverse order. And when you screw the uh, cartridge case down, don't screw it down super tight. Because if you do, this part won't be able to squeeze down and play the game. So just tight enough. Fire it up. See if it works. All right, guys, we are back, and the moment of truth. Let me hook up these AV cords here, so we actually see something. I'll start with the uh, little league baseball game, the one we used uh, when we boiled the seventy-two pin connector to um, reform the pins. And this game was not working, so let's see how we do it here. Perfect. Perfect. And we can play, we got the controller. Let's make sure we'll go to exhibition mode, I guess. One player, we'll play in California. You can see it works pretty well. I went back, sorry. Passwords, whatever. So that one works well. Good job there. Uh, let's try the Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Yes. Okay, that seems to be good there. We'll play Super Mario Brothers. One player. <laughs> <laughs> I missed them. All right, so that's good. Now, I have the sleeve for that one somewhere. Here it is. Put it back under there. I have the sleeve for that one, so that's good. And now Tecmo Baseball, which is the one you saw me test uh, when we started this video. Tecmo Baseball was not working at all. Blank. I think it was a gray screen. Maybe it was blue. I don't remember. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Tecmo Baseball. We'll play one player. Designated hitter. Don't give me that designated hitter stuff. All right. Of course, there's no Philadelphia team. So I'll be St. Louis. And 
Lewis, looks like St. Louis versus Chicago. All right. All good. Oh, no good at this game anymore. Oh. Anyway, there you have it. All three games work now. Everything is clean, good to go. Put this back in there together. All set for resale. Take a few pictures, put it online. I'll take a couple screenshots so uh, the customers know that everything works and we'll be all set. All right, I'm back and it worked. Yay. <laughs> I've done this three or four other times. It's always worked. But again, it's always a last resort. I can usually clean the games or the system, but I had to do it anyway. So I thought I'd put this video together uh, for those of you that might be interested in learning how to do it. Hopefully this video helped fix your uh, Nintendo issue. If it did, leave me a note in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, maybe something I didn't cover, leave me a note in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.